Hey Virgo, happy Tuesday night to you all. Thank you all for joining me for this reading. I hope it resonates. What messages want to come out for you all tonight? Let's see. A time for spirit. Okay. A time for spirit. And they're saying we're here. Spirit is around you. Okay. I want you to know from death comes a rebirth. So there's some, some things out of your life now, okay, that possibly should have left a long time ago, all right? But I think spirit is just trying to tell you enough is enough, all right? It's time for you to meditate. It's time for you to finally release that which no longer serves you. Don't be sad. I'm hearing that sign, I'll stand by you, okay? Knight of Swords. This, this is some, something... That possibly happened unexpectedly here. All right. Side of swords, we have the Empress and we have the page of the page of wands. Something left you or someone left you, or, or I'm hearing rather unexpectedly. And, and we have here, but it's time, it's time for you to take a rest from this situation. It, it's it's caused you a lot of uh heartache and pain in your life. It's like there, I mean, what else can you do? You know, it's time for you to let this let this go, let this person go, or what the situation is. We have here the five of wands. So this may be a situation, Virgo, where you just have to throw caution to the wind and say, I'm done. You know, there's nothing you can do, okay? Because you, there's struggle here. There's conflict here, possibly with somebody younger than you. I uh, know it all. You've, you've done the best that you could possibly do. Um, I'm hearing this song. I'll stand by you. Um, I'll let no, I, I, I won't let nobody hurt you or something like that. This is, could be a mother talking to her child or a teenager or some a mother figure or a father figure for that matter, talking to somebody who's younger than them, trying to lead them into the right direction. Because we do have intoxication, distorted view, and overindulgence, and you just want what's best for this person, but this person doesn't realize it because they think they they think that that they know it all, but they don't know shit. They don't know Jack. Uh, we have here invasion, boundaries, violated, and dominance. This person has really said some things to you. Uh, very thinking they, they can dominate you, thinking thinking that they can rule over you. Like you aren't the person in charge. Like I said, you could be the mother or the father or whatever your capacity is to this, this young person. They think they know everything, but you gotta let it fit. You got to let him or her figure it out on their own. There's nothing that you can do because uh, this person, like I said, I think this person gets intoxicated a lot or maybe high off weed or whatever, whatever it is that they're doing. They're always full of, full on something as, as well as full of shit. You know, they think they know everything. OK, so you got to let this person fall down on their own. Got to, because that's the only way they're going to the, the only way they're going to learn. You can talk or talk and talk and talk. OK, so you can't talk no more. It's not working. Because you're the emperor or the empress here, okay? And, and you are, are, you know, this person's balance beam. And like I said, you're only telling this person something for their own good, but they won't listen. But it's time for you to be brave. It's time for you to let it go. Let it go. It's, it, it's, you're going to worry. You're going to cry, okay? You're going to be concerned about this person, but you got to be brave and let it go. It's time for a change, to learn something new, to use technology and, in, and gadgets with wisdom. This person does a lot of stuff on the internet, uh, hang out with their friends, texting. I'm hearing using emojis a lot and different things like that. You know, that's all they see. That's all, they're, that's all in their world right now. And we have guidance here. But where will it lead you? You can guide this person and you can lead this person, like I said, to you blue in the face. But sometimes you got to let shit happen, you know, because honestly, this person is 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 failing, you know. But but this is because of the choices that they have made, not you. Don't let this don't let this person's downfall be your be your problem, you know, because you have your own life to live in, in the long run. You can't worry about them. You can't worry about him or her. You know, let them let them live their lives like they want to, because they think they they think that they think that I can you say it? They think they know it all. They think they can do this. Let them, okay? But don't let it be your problem. You know, you're gonna worry because you're a mother or a father, aunt or uncle, grandfather or grandmother, whatever. Uh, 
significant other to somebody else's kids. You know what I'm saying? Or well, uh, somebody else, you're, you're, you are somebody's significant other. Yeah, but th their kids are your steps or somebody like that, okay? What's going to happen to this person that Virgo is concerned about? I see the ten of pentacles. I saw the ten of of uh, wands when I was shuffling. So it's it's heavy. It's like a heavy burden. Lay your burdens down, okay? Uh, this person's got to make better choices for themselves. You can't you can't live for this person. You can't make decisions for them. They're old enough to make them themselves. All right. No matter what they are, and they, they it's it's like whoever they're in a relation. The thing that's keeping your person away from listening to you is the people they're hanging around they're possibly thinking they're in love <clears throat> thinking that this person is the end all be all person in their life okay if it's not a lover that the people that they hang around think that they love them more than you love them but that's just not the case that's just not the case okay uh your person definitely needs 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 a um a reality check because they're not living up to their potential they think that they know it all like i said they think that, that that they have it all but they don't okay they still got a lot of work to do <clears throat> they're still wet behind the ears but you've been there you've done that and you're only offering what's best for your person okay we got the ace of wands you're trying to <clears throat> tell look go in this direction take my advice lean on what i'm saying i've been there i've done that but they don't want to hear your wise advice. They don't want to hear your sage advice. It's like it doesn't matter to them. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um, this person could also be looking for a job, or maybe they just per purchased one. Maybe they just got a job or something as well. I'm hearing for somebody they just got a car. But your person is going to step into that job thinking they already know it all anyway. So they may not have a job. They may not have a job too long. I'll tell you that right now. There's too many. Okay. They may not have that job too long because they're going to go into it thinking that they're the star, thinking that they're the boss, thinking that they should have that top tier pay. But somebody's going to come in and, and snatch that all away from them real soon. So they're not going to keep that job long. OK. Or that house or that car. But so they think they know it all. All right. They're, they're going to get knocked back down a pig or two. Let it happen. Nothing you can do to stop it either, Virgo. All right. OK, Virgo. Let's get some more messages for you and this person. Messages for this person in your life is who does they don't want to listen to you. Of the Ace of Wands again. Okay. And and you've always tried to do the best for this person, but I see him, this person moving, moving on. Moving on. They're not, it's like they're not listening to you. They probably won't. There's too many. And that this is possibly the current energy that they, they're constantly moving, constantly going somewhere, constantly doing something. All right. And we got the nine of pentacles and you worry, you know, um, it's like you worry about what this person is doing, uh, what, what they're, what they should be doing or shouldn't be doing, or it's like your mind is always focused on them. You know, it's like, just like, I don't know what else to do. You know, um, it's, you're paranoid. This person's making you paranoid with some certain things. Um, I kind of feel like, though, let's clarify the Ace of Wands. The Ten of Pentacles. I mean, this person could, you, I, I just feel like you give this person so much and you, you've been around this person in their life so much and you've done so much to this person. But this person is around you it's like they're they're not they're not treating you right they're not treating you fair they, they they make it seem like you're the bad guy you're the bad person in this situation you know and and they they have this devil energy here that that's that's the energy the people that they're around you know the company that they're keeping and they, they make it seem like they're they're telling their friends and the people they hang out with like virgo is the problem he or she always has something to say, but you've only wanted the best. We got the Ace of Wands here. We got the Ten of Pentacles. We got the Chariot. You've constantly been evolving and growing yourself and making things better, not only for you, yourself, I'm hearing yourself, not only for yourself, but for them. We got, bless you, the Hermit. So now the only thing you can do is just sit back and just, and, and no matter what it is, just pray, pray about it. Pray for them. You know, do some intercessory prayer on their behalf and ask spirit to guide them where they need to go. 
and let it go. Ain't nothing else you can do. It's got the three of swords. You're going to keep on letting this person hurt you, put you down, keep you down, and you don't need that. You got your own problems. Let that person grow the fuck up and be the, the man or the woman who they truly are. And when they fall, they'll be back. When they bump their big ass head in there, Virgo, they'll be back. Right, that's, that's a guarantee. Let's get some final messages. When they bump their big, fat, juicy head, they'll yeah, be back right off. Let's get a final message for Virgo. This person who won't listen. Aloha healing. It's time for you to heal. You know, there's nothing else that you can do. You know, and I have here, release your power. Release your power. Because your person, whoever, whatever they're doing in their life, they have a tempting offer. But that tempting offer that they have, that they that has been presented to them, has a high-ass price. And uh, next thing you're going to tell them is, I tried to tell you, but you didn't want to listen. They didn't want to listen. Transitions to the spirit realm. You know, let's just leave it to God. Let God handle this because... There's nothing that you can do. This person is going to continue to do what the hell they want to do. Okay. Calm and chaos. You you remain calm and let them deal with the chaos that they're creating for themselves in their life. Okay. There's nothing else that you can do but pray and let God handle the rest. You know? All right. So I hope this message resonates with uh, those of you who uh, are meant to see it. All right. Talk to you later.